Hey Transformers 96 here with another video review. This time we have from the Ant-Man wave of Marvel Legends, the Build-A-Figure, which is Ultron. So yeah, so overall I was very excited to see that they were doing an Ultron Build-A-Figure. Um, I, you know, I love Build-A-Figures, love villains, love uh, a movie too. So it just, it was a complete home run as far as what they could have done as far as making him a Build-A-Figure. Um, overall the figure, pretty decent. Some things uh, are definitely better than others on him, but um, definitely a pretty strong build a figure. First of all, you will need to buy all six figures as shown right there. Ant-Man, Wasp, Bulldozer, Tiger Shark, Grim Reaper, and Giant Man. And then you will be able to, to complete him. Overall, when they first showed the images of him, I was confused as to whether they were going for an Ultron Prime or an Ultimate Ultron type of look from the movie. Originally, the original pictures of him showed him with different legs and the legs being closer to that of the Ultimate Ultron. Um, so, And then the, the face really has an ulti Ultimate Ultron type of look. Um, the, as far as the eyes, the eyes look really, um, in, uh, look, they look really set in quite far back into his like skull bit um, and I think that's just due to the heavily back um, eye lining around the eyes but it, it makes the eyes look deeper into his face which is more of an ultimate Ultron type of look because that that Ultron has like an extra plate on his face so I was kind of uh, expecting them to do an ultimate Ultron unfortunately they changed the legs and uh, and so he is more of an Ultron prime but um just because we have a complete lack of figures for the end of the movie Ultron I would have liked to see this figure have been the ultimate one. Uh, but, you know, that that's a small little issue, just something that uh, I would have liked to see. Overall, sculpting-wise is quite nice. Really don't have much of a problem with the sculpt. Looks pretty good, pretty intricate, and uh, overall, very nice indeed. I like the head. Even though this head's a little inaccurate with how much black eyeliner is around those eyes, I think that it just looks cool. It gives him a creepy look and, um, and makes him look a little bit more like the Ultimate One, which I prefer too, so I am pretty happy about that. Sculpting is great. Um, paint is that's where this figure just takes a nosedive. Um, overall, he's got some nice silver on him mixed in with some dark, just kind of gray, just kind of plastic gray, which is pretty decent. You know, if you just had him completely silver, it just wouldn't look good. So it's nice that they kind of mix his colors. Um, although I wish that it was mixed a little bit better. Like here, it's just like the top of his torso has the silver and then the, the, the crotch area has the complete gray. The, you know, thigh pieces are complete gray. And then I like that the joints are gray and then the, like, the, the actual actual paneling is silver, I think that that's a pretty neat idea. And then the feet being gray, I think looks pretty decent. Um, but we get to the back here, and wow! This is like a McDonald's toy, you know, where they just do like the painting on the front and then they completely forget the back or something. I don't know why they did this, but they didn't paint the back. It's, it's unpainted really cheap and just absolutely terrible. I, it's something that I was not expecting and um, is completely unforgivable. I, I don't really see a reason to do that. I, this this wave doesn't look too expensive uh, and the build a figure isn't like super big so they had to make a cut somewhere or anything. It's, you know, it's a relatively small build a figure from what we've been getting mostly. So overall, I'm quite disappointed with the paint as well as the red is just kind of up in the top, it's 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 painted on in a few areas, and then it just kind of stops. And it's also a very bright red, which they tone that down a bit and you know wash in like a black to give it more of that darker red that like Ant Man has instead of just the complete bright um, red uh, that Ultron has. Overall, though, uh, looking nice. Um, Except for the paint, you know, sculpting is good, but unfortunately with that paint it definitely does bring him down. Comparing him to another Build-A-Figure that is much like him, you know, a, a tall Build-A-Figure that's from a movie and uh, that's not quite bulky but just tall, which is really what he is. As you can see, he is not as tall as Groot. Groot is taller than him, and it's not even just because of Groot's extra kind of forehead twigs or whatnot. He is actually just taller than him in general. His legs go out much further, um, but then Ultron has a a, a taller torso, so it kind of helps him even out, but he, uh, Groot is still a bit taller than Ultron. Um, overall, though, Ultron is a nice size, because then we compare them both to a normal figure, and as you can see, he's still much taller than him. I believe that Bulldozer is around the same height as Ultron. I'm sorry, I didn't bring him out to compare, but I believe that he is. So, overall, oops, wow, okay, whoa, alrighty then. 
I accidentally hit down, uh, hit one of my lamps down. Overall, this is a nice build of figure for the character. It's it's got good sculpting. I'm glad that they made it Ultron, you know, and I'm glad that it's a movie build a figure because typically we don't get too many movie characters, let alone build a figure. So it is great to see that. Um, painting is really um, rush cheap and just uh, unforgivable in my opinion. But other than that, it's a nice build a figure. I wouldn't recommend getting this entire wave just to build him if you're not interested with the figures. It if you want most of the figures, maybe there's one or two that you're not looking forward to, then maybe just, you know, I would recommend getting the one or two that you're not looking forward to just to complete them because it's, it's a shame to have an unfinished build figure But overall, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody who's not an Ultron fan. If you weren't excited about this build figure when it was announced, you won't be excited when you're when you build it because there's there's nothing that's going to blow your mind once you have it so i would just i would say that anybody who wants the ultron build a figure is going to be happy with it anybody who doesn't want it is going to live their life completely fine without it and uh you won't have any regrets i don't think but overall i'm happy that they made them and uh it could have been better but uh they did a decent job so overall i'm satisfied so there you go that's my video review of the uh ant-man marvel legend series build a figure ultron thanks so much for watching